So today I got a Mercedes that can shift landing gears. No drive, no reverse, no neutral. Only park. It also has a warning message on the dashboard as well. Without changing gear, control works out. Let's look at our sentry diagnosis software. The first floor is with the transmission control U010300. Communication with the electronic selector module has a malfunction. No surprise, the second force comes from the ECN and 3 slash 10 with code U010387. They set the same description with the above DTC related to the uh, electronic selector module. The next DTC is diagnosed in ESP module with the communication issue, no CAN message were received from AAT Intelligent Server Module for direct select. It's simply the motor for shifting gears. So um, in short, I'm gonna call it an electronic shifter. So in other words, no CAN signal from electronic shifter. Let's see this final DTC in the steering column module here. You see the same issue with Intelligent, intelligent Server Module. So these are all the DTC that we have on here. Let's look at a block diagram so we can view a bigger picture. And 80 AR steering column, S16 slot 13 is a gear lever. This is very easy to understand. The signal from the gear lever goes to the steering column, then being sent to our ECM and 3 slot 10 via can see. So the signal will continue to go to AAT, which is the uh, electronic shifter. This is the component that will shift your gears. As I explained earlier, from our DTC list, the first thing I'll check is the uh, IAT, and as I expect, that would be the problem because we have no signal at this point. So let's look at the wiring diagram of this electronic shifter. But remember, when you search for it on WIS, it's called Intelligent Servo Module. This diagram is very simple. We have power 30 coming from the uh, rear SAM N2 slash N. W15 slash 1 is ground. So let's find a location on this ground because we will have to check them later on. So as you saw here, this right foot well poised, so um, it's underneath the front passenger's feet. Here is it, ground point. W15 slash 1 as you see here. So we know the power coming from rear SAM and ground point is under the passenger seat. Now, the next thing we got to measure is the CAN signal. So let's look at our CAN signal and CAN C. When we measure CAN low and CAN high of this AAT, from this diagram, I know the distributor is denoted as X30 slash 21. So let's find a location of this CAN distributor. So it is also underneath the front passenger's feet. One more thing that we need to know is the color. So this will can wires. One will be blue and white. The other is blue. So we have blue white stripes and blue. Let's first check the power from rear sound to the AAT electronic shifter. We can easily check it on Fuse 88 which is the dedicated fuse, as you see here. The first bit has 11.8 volts. The second is also 11.8 volts. So the power is good. Let's move on to measure this module ground and need the front passenger seat. I'll use uh, continuity on my multimeter. So make sure you choose continuity. All three wires have continuity, so ground also good. The last basic or can signal, let's dive into it. Once again, from the document, you can find it underneath the front passenger seat. This is our can distributor, X30 slash 21. I've already seen blue and white stripes. 
The other glue is right next to it. We will check the voltage to see if anything is not in place. We expect to see over 2.5 volts for can high and under 2.5 volts for can low. These are the most wires and can wires of IAT, which is what we want to measure. And please remember to turn your key on. So turn your key to the on position. So now measure the can low. Can low is 2.19 volts. So this is good. Can high is um, 0.74 volts. So this gotta be the issue because as I told you earlier, can high is gotta be over 2.5 volts. Let's measure uh, all the other pins to see if they are normal. The rest of them feel all good. So we only have problem with can high of the electronic shifter. So we might have two issues here. It's either our ECM is might not send enough voltage to this distributor or this distributor itself has malfunctions. The distributor is easier to check than the ECM. So I will check it first by measuring resistance. I already removed the distributor out of the car so we can easily check it working condition. I measure resistance using my multimeter. The value we're looking for is about 60 ohms for each connectors. The first two are good. The third one are also working properly. I'll measure the last one, which is the connector of our uh, AAT. There is zero resistance on the connector. So this is definitely the problem. What might be the problem? In the resistor in the distributor is broken. So it's no longer working. So the current can pass through freely. We are very fortunate because when Mercedes engineer designed this distributor, they left one connector empty for backup or later usage. So I switch the position of AAT to that empty position on the distributor. All right, so I'll check the can signal in this position to see if it's now working properly. So 2.3 voltage for can low is good. 2.77 for can high. So can high also good. So both are working as it should. Let's look at the dashboard and send this scan result once again. So there is no malfunction message on the dashboard. Let's start the car and change here to see if it works. All this shifting is working flawlessly. Let's double check it once again on our uh, Sentry software. So there is no DTC. So I can tell that we have successfully tackled this problem on this Mercedes E Series. All right. So to recap, this vehicle has slotted a resistor in this can signal electronic shifter distributor, making the signal couldn't be transferred back and forth on the can network. So guys. That's it for this video. If you want to see more diagnosis video that uh, I made on my journey, you can have a look on this playlist right here.